up, guys. Flooding Mon 14 here. Uh, yeah, last time on Pokemon Platinum Randomizer, we, uh, yeah, arrived here in, uh, Florida. Let's, uh, cut. Okay, what's up, guys? Flooding Mon 14 here. Uh, last time we arrived here in, uh, Floroma Town for the first time. And, uh, yeah, here in today's episode, um, yeah, like I said, I think we're basically just gonna kind of tour the town, explore the town, and then we will, uh, yeah, see what all's going on right here. A single berry will grow into a plant that makes several berries. By planting one, there will be many berries in the world. Hope you'll help us spread more berries everywhere. Yeah, so this lady will give you, uh... A free berry every day. I think she just gives you like low ones, like uh, Oren, Pencha, uh, Cherry, and Chesto, but I, I mean, I could be wrong on that. Uh, hello, would you like to exchange your berries for some accessories? So, yeah, if you're interested in like contests and stuff, uh, you can exchange berries for some stuff here, and uh, yes, yeah, some of these items are, you know, pretty rare, so, well, not necessarily rare, but you know, it takes a lot of berries to get them, but uh, anyway. Trainer, please water berries using this spray duck watering can. Yeah, so this is basically like the whale marpel or the, uh, or whatever. Yeah, use it to water soil. Yeah, so basically with that you can help berries grow. Now, that's a question. Will I be planting berries in this game and regrowing them? Um, I probably won't, but you should. Like, you see these open, you know what, I'll just show you. See these open patches of grass? Yeah, you can uh, plant a berry there, like, let's say, the Petra, and then, you know, if you water it good and stuff, uh, and then come back, you know, when it's supposed to be fully grown, uh, it should grow to, like, uh, two or three Petras, so, yeah, you can always get more berries. Anyway, uh, the berries you pick to be used as food for Pokemon, uh, can trade them at the floors, or you can use them as, uh, they're called, uh, Poffins in this game, right? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure you can do that as well. Uh, anyway, let's go here into the mart. Uh, I don't think I need anything, but let's just talk to some of the people. I'm going to dress up my Pokemon with cute accessories and take it to the TV station in Jubilee City. This way, everyone in the region will be able to see my delightfully pretty Pokemon. Alright. You can't buy bears or accessories at Pokemarts. It's better for me that way. I won't waste any money impulse shopping. Oh, impulse shopping. Tell me about it. Uh, that is something that plagues us all, amigo. Okay, what do you have to say? Welcome to Floroma, the town of flowers, flowers, and more flowers. You should plant some flowers of your own, too. Yay for flowers. Wow, that girl sure likes talking about flowers. What's up? I want to get some flowers from the Floroma man. That's a team like guys and snazzy outfits keep along. Mm. Those galactic like guys went to the meadow past these flowers here. Hmm, interesting. Alright, oh, let's uh, go in here. What's up? Some kinds of Pokemon only appear if they're attracted by the sweet scent of honey. Yeah, that is true. There are some like honey trees in this game that kind of work like the headbutt trees in Gen 2. Except uh, quite a bit different because like I think uh, a Pokemon with honey will appear after 6 hours. But uh, anyway. Pokemon must have an acute sense of smell. They can sense the aroma of honey far away. Yeah, something I always wondered with honey trees is like, why aren't bee drills attracted by honey? You know what I mean? <laughs> like, uh, like seriously. Uh, your wait is over. It's this, you know, shopping champ corner. Uh, oh, they're talking about me. Yeah, listen, I bought 10 Pokeballs at the end of the last episode. Yeah, sense of determination. Oh my God. How long is she? <laughs> What in the world? Uh, anyway, let's go to the Pokemon Center. Don't know if I need to heal, but we're going to talk to people here. Uh, looks like we're good. What's up? I had a battle the other day, and my Pokemon's HP got low. I thought we were done for. Then all of a sudden, my Pokemon ate the berry I was holding. Phew! Must have been a citrus berry. Okay, but yeah, some can restore your health, like citrus and orange. They've been having problems with the electric power lady. Oh! Is there some trouble at the Valley Windworks? Hmm, I wonder. If you've got Pokemon with you, it's safe. Even for a kid like you to go off traveling alone. Uh, that is true. I suppose. You know, in this universe. So, uh, anyway, let's go 
let's, uh, I don't remember if there's any items here or not, by the way. Uh, do you know about gra uh, Gracetia flowers? No. They're given as bouquets to express feelings of gratitude. It's an endearing tradition around these parts. Huh, what'd you say? Gracetia? Is that how you say that? I don't know, I'm probably saying it wrong, but whatever. Uh, let's talk to this guy. I got drawn here by the sweet scent of honey. Seriously, what's that? What am I, a Pokemon or something? Mmm, honey. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Guess it doesn't just work on Pokemon. Uh, anyway. My fairy! What's up? Do you think it's cute to have Pokemon pluck berries? Yeah, sure. Yes, you agree. Here's TM for the move pluck. It's actually not going to be for pluck. It's going to be for something else. And Pokemon uses pluck. It eats a berry held by its own metal. That is true. I like how it steals a berry. It's so cute. Okay. Uh, what's that? Flor Floroma Town was a barren, desolate hill long ago, avoided even by Pokemon. Uh, people started planting flowers on it because it's such a sad place. Wow. But nothing would grow. People didn't know what to do. Then one day, someone expressed thanks for the blessings of nature. Then the whole hero will burst into bloom. Wow. So a little backstory on this town, I guess. Interesting. Uh, let's check out that TM she gave us. Uh, what was it, 88? 88, yes, Shadow Claw. Not too bad, yeah. It's basically like a ghost version of Slash, physical move. Um, don't we have something that's ghost type? That uses a... Uh, ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Aren't you ghost type? Ooh, we could give you a stab ghost move. And it's physical, too. Shadow Claw is physical. Uh, I tell you what, uh, everyone. Let's, uh, yeah. I'm not even gonna... I'm not even gonna second guess that. Yeah, because that'll give Boo stab. Uh, so, yeah, let's boot it up. And let's teach our first team of the game. Yeah, let's delete a move for Boo. Uh, we'll get rid of Leer for now. Yep, see ya, Leer. One, two, and poof. We forgot Leer and learn Shadow Claw. Pretty good move. All right. All right. So, and with that, let's switch Shadow Claw to the near the front. Um, I think I'll yeah, switch it with Rage here. We'll put Water Gun in the last slot. All right. All right. Nice. Thanks for that TN, little girl. Um, anyway, let's keep going, talking to people. Yeah. So, this is definitely very helpful to us. I simply love it here. The atmosphere is so uplifting. You came to get emotionally healed too, didn't you? Um, well, I, I mean, you know, not necessarily, but uh, either way, it's pretty good. Um, did we already talk to her? Uh, yes, we did. Okay. Uh, with that, I think that's everyone we can talk to here in town. So let's head up north here and see what's going on. Someone said something about uh, uh, Team Galactic at the Valley Windworks, uh, but they're here. Uh, aren't we Team Galactic? And we're assigned here, standing around among flowers. This doesn't seem that cool at all. <laughs> hey now, don't complain. This is a pretty decent assignment. But Pug and Crass type Pokemon so creep me out. I don't like being here either. Uh, yeah, so these guys won't actually move. Uh, yeah, if you're playing like a uh, Pearl or a uh, Diamond, you can actually go through and go ahead and start the uh, the thing with them right away. But in here, in fact, I think you have to head, uh, uh, ch 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 what is this, east here first. Uh, anyway, a few more berries, Chesto, which uh, he'll sleep. So yeah, that's something you could do is actually, you know, regrow Chesto and Petra berries. And yeah, just sell your awakening, so that's one way to do it. Uh, anyway, let's, there's a little girl here. What's up? Help, help, trainer, please. I want to see my papa. My papa and I lived at the Valley Windworks. Then a whole bunch of people dressed like spacemen came. They kicked me out, and they're making my papa do something. Please, trainer, I miss my papa. Don't worry, we'll help. I've got this, I'm 10. Uh, he's at the Valley Windworks. Oh, okay. If you try to go up here, pretty sure these guys will stop you. We, Team Galactic, are conducting a research in the Eterna Forest. This is as far as you'll go. Our research involves catching Pokemon in the flowery meadows of Floroma. Uh, we are also covertly stealing the energy at Valuable Works. Oh, they just outright tell you what's going on. But that is of no concern to you. 
Yeah, so you can't actually go past until you clear some of these Team Galactic events. Um, anyway, so let's uh, go here. Valley Windworks, ecological wind-driven energy. Okay, there's an item here, so let's see what it is before we... Silk Scarf, that's honestly a pretty helpful item. Um, who's got a good normal move? You've got Quick Attack, right? Uh, yeah, and your attack's pretty high. Quick Attack, okay. So yeah, we're getting some nice uh, TMs and items this episode. So yeah, without uh, further ado, basically, uh, yeah, uh, this does boost the power of normal moves, so let's go ahead and put it on, uh, whoops, <laughs> didn't mean to put it on you, Wardamon. Let's put it on Icy Fire. There we go. Nice. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty much going to be useful for the whole game, the Silk Scarf. Anyway, let's, uh, do I have the, uh, coin on? Yeah, the Luck Incense? Okay. All right, Don Pearl, let's do this, buddy. <laughs> Don't you dare go into the Valley Windworks. I had ordered to keep everyone out. They're not part of Team Galactic. You're giving me a look that makes you think you're going to try to get in. Okay, then. I'll have you battle me for it. Okay, buddy. You might as well just hand the key over now. <laughs> uh, Entrepreneur Kimberly. What you got? Growl? All right, level 13, yeah. Pretty high level, honestly, so... This battle could have been really hard, depending on what random Pokemon this guy got, but uh, uh, that is going to switch us out, I guess. Go, Wartormon! Alright, uh, let's just use Water Gun. Nice! And down the ghost Growlithe. I wouldn't actually mind catching Growlithe, just to see what type it is. Pretty good fire Pokemon. Yeah, like I'm really supposed to open with a Pokemon like this. Well, honestly, Growlithe is a lot better compared to what I'm sure you usually have. <laughs> Isn't that just great? Getting owned by some kid. <laughs> but you can't do a thing if I lock myself in with the works key. That's right, the other works key is not here. My cohorts in the flower patch have the only one, so yeah. Yeah, you gotta come to this guy first, and then double back and get the works key from those other guys. <laughs> in that sense, I'm no longer the loser. Hmm. Kerchunk? It's locked from inside, so yeah, that guy did indeed lock himself in, so yep. without further ado, we just need to double back here. Don't think I need to heal or anything, so we'll just uh, we'll just go get the key right away. So now yeah, now, now these guys will be gone, so just head up here. To the Floroma Metal. Oh, whoops, I skipped a little dialogue. Two, as we say, Team Galactic will have that honey. We must have it to attract Pokemon in great numbers. Hey, bro, like, I don't know if you know how it works in this gym, but I mean, you can only get like, maybe like 15 Pokemon by honey trees, you know. And, and I'm not sure of the exact number, but I know you can't attract like all Pokemon. That's not how it works. Hey, this kid is a witness. What will you do? <laughs> we don't need the brat running off to get help. Hmm. The solution's simple. We ensure the brat stays quiet. Alright, so here we go. Team Galactic once again. Alright, Zoe. What you get? Tyro! Interesting Pokemon. Free evolution of Hitmonchan, Hitmon Lead, and Hitmon Top. That's why I'm going to be stuck as a crit forever. Yeah. Well, honestly, it's not too bad of a Pokemon as long as you evolve it. This is so lame. They're going to duck my pain. Yeah. <laughs> I'm about mixed. Paddling you right after my cohort weekend, you gives me the edge. Well, actually, he didn't do any damage to me, Brian. So, you better check yourself before you break yourself. And Zoe again. Wait, wait. Did we just battle a Zoe? Whoa. That's a pretty good Pokemon. Well, normally it is. I don't, who knows what type it is. Shadow Sync's pretty good. It's basically a quick attack for ghost types. Uh, okay. Nice. Looks like corn attack's good, so we'll just keep using it. Alright. Oh man, I love Spirit Tomb though. Alright, Don Crow level 18. Nice. Boost. Cut. Uh, well, actually, 
actually with the speed boost, probably faster than Kadabra, so we'll stay in, go for a horn attack. Pretty good team, though, for this guy. Kadabra and Spirit Tomb? Not bad, not bad at all. <laughs> a lot better than the Wurmples and, uh, yeah, Stunkies these guys usually use in Zubats. I want a promo so I can get some tough Pokemon. Honestly, bro, you don't need a promotion. Your Pokemon are already pretty good. This Brad's tough, like really, really tough. <laughs> Tougher than than I can put into words, and I know a lot of words. Oh man, we're dead for. Let's get back to the Valley Wind Works. All right, these guys leave. Oh, what's this? They seem to have forgotten it. It's a works key. It must be for the Valley Wind Works. No, that's of no use to me. You may as well have it. So there we go. We got the works key now, so we can go help that girl and her papa. Thank you, you surely saved me. Those goons were trying to rob me of my sweet, sweet honey. Mm, they sure are weird though, you saw how they were dressed. Uh, what they were saying didn't make a whole lot of sense either. Oh, yes, I need to thank you, the sweet, sweet honey. Go on, take a whole lot. And I think this guy gives you like a half dozen honey. Uh, slap of that honey on a sweet smelling tree. It might attract Pokemon. Uh, yeah, and you can buy some more from them, but of course we're going to save our money for Pokeballs, so... Uh, oopsie, well, come again. So yeah, uh, how much honey did he give us? A uh, ten, yeah, so honestly, that ought to hold you for a while, so... And if you want, yeah, you know, you can just slide the road on a tree and then come back, like I said. I think it's around six hours or so, so yeah. Uh, should I do it? Um... Maybe I'll show it off just once. Um, sure, you know what? I'll do this, and I'll do the next recording session in about like ten, uh, six hours or so. So, there we go. So, I'll do the next recording around like, what, nine or so? See if there's a Pokemon on the stream. Uh, sometimes there won't be a Pokemon at all, though. So, even if you do check, you know, rigorously. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, nothing interesting on. Flowers that grow in the fields here were special. Did you see how they're more vivid than the flowers elsewhere in Sino? You can thank Pokemon for that. Cool. Keep putting honey on a tree. Check back later and see if it's wrestling. If it is, it's quite often a rare Pokemon. It's my hopes I've seen that. Yeah, I think you can get like Heracross, Munchlax. There's some pretty rare Pokemon you can get. Then again, there's some pretty, you know, not so rare Pokemon you can get like Wormpole. <laughs> you know, Wormpole, Silcoon, Cascoon, so. Anyway, we did get quite a handful of money there from the Team Galactic fights, so let's uh, get some more Pokeballs, shall we? Because I think we're pretty low. Yeah, we got 17, so let's get a little 10 more. And, yeah, let's just get 10 more. Let's get up to 37. Yeah, because as you guys have seen, I really do like catching uh, random Pokemon in this. Uh, sh whoa, 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 sure. Let's buy a few antidotes. Mainly because they are pretty cheap, you know, so. Alright, and we'll head on out. Okay, and what time are we at for this episode? Uh, honestly, I could just call it good. And, um, yeah, and things here. Um, two things, though. I do want to check right here. Yeah, this is Route 204. Let me check the map. Uh, we're going to the map for the first time. Okay, so this should still have the same uh, Pokemon that we ran into around Jubilee City, because it is the same route. So I'm not really going to check here too thoroughly, um, but I, uh, in the next episode we will check here a little more thoroughly around Route uh, 205. But to get to Route 205, I think we have to clear out all of Team Galactic. Um, yeah, because the grass is past them. Um, I guess there is grass here at the Valley Windworks, which should have its own unique counterweight. But just for the sake of, uh, you know, simplicity helping myself out, I think I'm going to try to clear out Team Galactic here. And uh, let's switch Boo to the front here. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. That way we can basically, yeah, we'll finish up Team Galactic first, and then, you know, after we're done with that, we'll take a few, you know, a few a handful of episodes to, you know, thoroughly check out uh, all the new areas we can, so that sounds good. Uh, talk from the inside and use the works key, curve chunk. Here we go. 
Now, I don't know if we'll be able to finish this this episode, but we'll try. What? No way. You have the key? Locking the door was meaningless. I am the loser in this after all. It's no time for self I gotta alert the commander. Commander? Hmm. Anyway, uh, is there a hidden item here? No. Shadow Claw. Oh, I get it, Claw. Oh. Well, I do have a high attack stat, so if I hit myself, this is gonna hurt. Yeah. Alright, Boo. I believe in you. Ah, Foresight. One of the most useless moves. Unless you happen to be a fighting type and you're facing like a ghost type or something. But it, even then, you know, you're better off just learning like knockoff or some dark type move that's physical, you know. That crunch. Oh, jeez, jeez, boo. Wow. Well, probably gonna go back and heal after this. I mean, jeez. Uh, Shadow Claw. Nice. One hit? No. Pretty powerful, though. Confusion. Well, I resist that. Because I'm a steel type. Yeah, Shadow Claw. Nice. And we'll use one more. Okay. Well, thankfully, this guy didn't try to use Super Sonic again because. Boo can't handle confusion too well. Alright, 384. Nice. Uh, scary Face. Um, I think we're gonna pass on Scary Face. Sharply reduces the opponent's speed, but, uh, yeah, we don't really need that move. I guess, you know, if you don't want Leer, you know, what? Some rat messed up my job. If you don't want Leer, you can, you know, get rid of that, but, you know. Team Galactic needs electricity for doing something big. Uh, I wonder what that is. Um, do I have any healing items? For the sake of convenience. Well, I have a soda pop. Uh, lemonade and a boom milk. Uh, sure, let's use a soda. <laughs> Who knew drinking a uh, Pepsi could uh, heal you by 36 HP? <laughs> Alright, anyway, let's talk to this guy. Collecting electricity from the wind belly one works. That's our mission. Alrighty then. And my mission is to stop you and your nefarious plans, entrepreneur Mike. Be drill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was funny. I was talking about be drill in the honey trees. Yeah, why are be drill like attracted by honey? That's. It seems like a big oversight, you know. Because in real life, you know, bees are bees love honey. So why would that apply for Pokemon? Licky, licky, oh man. Well, let's, uh, no, let's stay in, let's stay in. I was going to say let's switch, but, uh, oh man, look at Licky Licky. Licky Licky's got a full Wi Fi signal. Oh, it doesn't affect. So it is still. No, wait, it doesn't affect. Yeah, that means it's normal type. Uh, don't I have a fighting type move? An ice Uh, yeah, I do. And this thing weighs a lot from what I remember, so let's switch. Plus, we're confused. Nice. Alright, it's lick, huh? But as long as you don't paralyze me. Ah, oh. Licky, licky. Say it ain't so. Alright, we'll go low kick. Oh, parafusion. Hmm. Honestly, I might use a full heal here if I've got one. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, do I have a full heal? Status healers? I do. Honestly, it's pretty worth it here, so... There you go, Ice of Iron. Oh, no. Back to the battle. Got over the status trouble. Heck yeah. Defense girl. Pasha. Uh, make sure I'm choosing low kick here. Whoops. Yeah. Okay. There we go. There we go. Low kick. Yeah. Yeah. Take that, Licky Licky. That's for paralyzing me, bruh. kids who also happen to be tough trainers, is that so? Alright, you don't have an inkling of what Team Galactic is trying to achieve. Of course, they don't tell a grunt like me anything either. But still, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, now, I don't know if we'll get, if we have enough time for this part, 
So let me save real quick. Yeah. Just in case. Okie dokie. Uh, let's talk to this dude. My Pokemon can't battle anymore. They're gonna take away my Pokemon for messing this one up. Huh. Just you wait, our commander will swish you. Is that so? I am one of Team Galactic's three commanders. No, wait, that's one of four commanders. My name's Mars. We've been trying to create a new world that's better than this one. Hm. But some people have shown little understanding about what we do. Hm. You don't understand either, do you? It's a little saddening. Huh. So let's have a battle to decide what we shall do next. Hm. If you win, if I win, you leave. If you win, we, Team Galactic, hm, will leave. Alright, let's do it, guys. First commander battle, baby. I love the commander music in this game. Developer Bob, so they are developers. Oh, gar, 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 gar. Well, that's a pretty fortunate thing for us. We'll go with Shadow Claw. <laughs> oh man, this commander's pulling out Splash. Watch out. <laughs> uh, gotta love the random match. What do you think you're doing to my Pokemon? Dude, he was just splashing around. What are you? Shadow Claw, never mind. <laughs> Good job, Boo. Nice. And level 17. Alright. And we beat developer Bob. That can't be I lost your company, right? Nice money. 2720? Ah, oops. I messed that one up. Ah, that's alright though. I quite enjoyed our battle. <laughs> ah, my mind. Lose to a child, will you? But no matter, we've collected plenty of electricity. With the power we have attained, we can do something quite spectacular. It seems quite obvious to me, Sharon. The genius even the boss recognizes. Now, Mars, we shall get going. <laughs> Will you shed it? <laughs> the boss is the only person in the world who is allowed to order me around. <laughs> you, uh, you can keep quiet around me. You only joined us recently. Don't think you're important. I guess it's time to say goodbye and leave for the time being. All right. Team Galactic. They, they were saying they had to gather Pokemon energy no matter what. It was for creating a big universe, or so they claimed. Nothing they said uh, made any sort of sense to me. I can't tell you how grateful I am for saving me. I can finally see my little cut of powder again. Ah, nice. Papa! Yeah, Papa, you're stinky. Go shower now, stinky. <laughs> trainer. You made those bad people go away. Uh, I think the balloon Pokemon will come visiting in. Oh, right. Yeah, every Friday, uh, Drift, uh, Drift Bloom comes and visits, so there you go. And with that, we've cleared out uh, Team Galactic. Um, so, hey guys, I think that's gonna be it for this episode. Uh, oh! The Bringer of Wars. Your target is the energy of the power plant. Oh, oh, uh, okay. The Bringer of Contentment. Your target is the Pokemon statue. Return to city. Bringer of Beijing. Target is the Pokemon that sleeps on today. The Dream Energy. Team Galactic. Okay, did not know that was there, but uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I think that's going to be it for this uh, little episode here, guys. And so, yeah, just to check out the uh, the honey tree and stuff, I'll do the next recording in about eh, five or six hours, and we'll see if there's any uh, Pokemon there. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, and also in the next episode, few episodes, we're going to just be going around looking for a lot of Pokemon, seeing what all we can catch here in the Randomizer. All right, guys, well, thanks for joining me, and I'll see you all next time. All right. All right, till then, take care of yourselves and each other. Uh, can a superior have something to do with the Windworks using wind generating energy? Uh, maybe, maybe. Uh, oh, this says the same thing. Okay. All right. Bye bye, guys. Oh, wait. I don't remember if something happens when we leave. I think something does happen as far as a cutscene, so let me check you guys for that. 
Yeah, yeah, I, know. I thought so. I thought so. Okay. Ah, yes, it is you, yes. I have heard that Team Galactic appeared at this power plant. I have therefore come running. So, the Team Galactic, where are they? You have run them off, you say. You are a trainer, but... Very well, I shall go and investigate inside. Hmm. And was this scene really necessary? I mean, I don't think so. Ah, ma magnificent. Yes, it is. What have you, what, what have you, you have said? It is all true. Superb. Though you are young, you are a trainer through and through. Very well. I shall pursue the culprits. I have received tips that the team Galactic Hideout is in Eternal City. So there, I must be off. Uh, all right. See ya, Looker. I think his name's Looker because he forces you to look at extra scenes. Okay. <laughs> all right. With that, let me make sure there's no other cut scenes as we go back here. Okay, it looks like we're good. Okay. All right, guys. So, uh, yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. Uh, Pokemon Platinum Randomizer. See you guys next time. All right.